So we got a great question from Floofies who asked, Hey Nutty, oh, how nice. Do you have any examples of using OBS raw with streamer bot in C sharp code? So this is going to be like, I don't want to say like fairly advanced, but it's kind of advanced. You do need to know coding for like what I'm going to show you just now. Um, just to be clear, you don't need to know any coding to use streamer bot, but if you want to do like the more advanced stuff, like the stuff you can do with code is very awesome. So OBS, uh, sorry, StreamerBot has a feature that's really cool. Uh, what is this? Okay, get rid of that. Uh, it has a really cool thing you can do. If you right click sub actions and go to OBS, you can run a thing that says OBS raw. And essentially, I'm gonna use like terminology that you're gonna need to know a little bit of coding for. Essentially, you can make calls to OBS WebSockets or in layman's terms, you can like program OBS to do certain things just by sending like um, some basic commands. And a command would look like something like this. Uh, in brackets, you write like request type and then you type in like the request that you want OBS to do. And so the OBS WebSockets page has like a list of all of the different commands that you can call. Um, so just like really simple ones. Uh, you could like pause a recording for some, uh, for example. Um, or like, yeah, play pause medium, right? So here are all the different actions you can run. I can like pause like in a video that's inside of OBS with this command. So I just put it in here, play pause. I know this is not your question, okay? This is this may not be your question, but like, um, you put play pause medium, and then it also says here um, in this page, which I'll link in chat. This is a very very important page. Really need this. Oh shit, not that one. Sorry, um, not that one. This link here. You need that link. Um, the page here will give you the things that you need to give to OBS as well. So like if you're going to use this play pause and media command to like play a video file, you also need to give it the source name and then you need to give it like a state, like whether it's paused or not. So a true or false essentially. So the way you do that is you go source name. Um, so you put this here, source name, and then you would put the name of the source like video file like whatever you have the source called in OBS and put that in there and then it says you also need to give it uh, a boolean which is like a true or false essentially so um, we're gonna add that we're gonna add play pause and then we put like true because it says I believe uh, true if you want to pause it so this would pause this would like pause the video file inside OBS and then you can format it to make sure it's right. Um, and then you just press okay and it will just like send that command to OBS uh, and you can test it out here as well. Um, so that's like how the OBS raw thing works. Yeah, it is an optional as well. You don't have to, but that's like, that's like a basic example of like what you can do with OBS raw. Um, Fluby's question was how you can use this in C sharp. Did you want to know how to do that in C sharp? Because I can show you how to do this exact same thing using C Sharp too. Um, it's a little bit different in C Sharp. I'd love to see what the call looks like in, in C Sharp. So yeah, this is a, this is an OBS raw thing. So it's a little bit more simplified um, in terms of like how you write it. Um, in OBS, I basically have uh, more or less, I have like a template. I'm just going to paste this here. So the equivalent of this code in C sharp, we're going to go here. So you just go right click, you add, add an action C sharp, execute code. Um, and then you can just start writing your code in here. Again, you don't need to know code. You don't need any code to like do any of this shit. Just so you guys know. Um, the way it looks, and I have this in my paste thingy you can just copy my code straight out if you want this is how it looks uh, first thing is you need to add this line at the top here 
Uh, where is it? Using Newtonsoft JSON link. You need to put this at the very top. Okay, I'll paste it in chat. Uh, yeah, I don't know why that's not working. I'll check that out in a second. Where did I learn C sharp or went to school for it? Actually, I, went, I, I didn't learn, learn, learn C sharp at school. I learned it at my last job, but I learned how to program at school. Um, so yeah, you gotta put this line at the top and then essentially, okay, you need to know a little bit about code. If you're trying to do like C sharp and you don't know any code, I did like a crash course for programming yesterday that you guys might want to watch. Like I literally showed you guys how to program. Like a whole, a whole semester's worth of program. I just, a whole semester's worth of programming. I just crammed that into like a one hour course yesterday or the other day. But um, here's how it looks like. If you want to run like this OBS raw thing in C sharp code, here's what it looks like. So you go J object, which is like the type. And then uh, give it a variable name, which I've called rec for request. You can name that whatever you want. And then you have to start like adding stuff to your object. So imagine this is like a package that you're gonna send to OBS and the package will contain like instructions for what you want OBS to do, right? So you need to like put stuff into this object. So the way to do that is you go, this is, uh, you can just go rec square brackets and then in quotes, you just put what you want. So in this case, um, the documentation said we need these two things, right? We need a source name, so we're gonna put a source name here. Source name, and then you say equals like the value of the thing. So this would be like video, video file, or like whatever the name of the source is in OBS. And then the same thing for the second one, this play pause, like we need to package this thing up in the box for, um, for OBS and then we need like a value for it. So we're going to say true. Um, then we say this, we call this command here. So this is something built into streamer bot. This is a function. If you guys know what functions are, uh, it's a function specifically made for streamer bot. Um, you write CPH, which is how you call like any streamer bot built in function dot OBS send raw. Then in the first part here, you're gonna give it three things inside of these brackets. You're gonna first give it the name of the function that you want to execute. Uh, where is that at? Like the name of the function from this page that you want to execute. Uh, so in our case, like we're trying to run this play pause thing. Uh, so we give that name here. Then we give it like the request object. So we have to give it this object here. So our package, so we give it the name of the function, the package that we want it to, like the instructions essentially, which you write as rec, but then you have to convert it to a string. So you write to string, right? And then the last thing you need is the connection. I don't think you need to give this in, but essentially like the connection is um, in our case zero, which connection, this connection thing at the end, I don't think you need it. But essentially, if you have, um, let's just save this. If you go to your stream apps tab where you connect OBS, if you have like multiple OBSs connected, the number you put in for the connection is like the order of like the OBS that you want to control. For most people, you only have one. But for me, I got like my main PC here that has OBS and then I have this PC here. This is like a separate thing, right? So I have two OBSs running. So just for my sanity's sake, um, inside of my code here, I put in the number zero at the end to signify I want to control my main OBS. If I wanted to control like a second OBS, I put in a one. A third one would be like a two because yeah, it starts from like zero. That makes sense. But yeah, that's that would be how you run an OBS raw command from, uh, from C sharp code. This, this whole thing here is the equivalent of all of this. So before I like stop explaining everything I just said just then, I'm gonna give you an actual example of one um, that actually works that we can test out. So let's just save this one. And um, 
I'm gonna right click and disable this. Add, we're gonna, we're gonna do it two things. We're gonna make something with OBS raw. So let's go to OBS raw. This is what we started. So let's, let's, let's do one that like changes scenes, right? Um, I think it's set active scene. What is it? Set, set scene, don't tell me. I wanna, I wanna figure this out on my own. Which one is it? What is the command here to like change scenes? Is it under scenes? Scenes. Okay, set current scene. Right, beautiful. So we can use this command here that says set current scene. So we're just gonna copy this. We're gonna put that in our request type in the instructions that we give to OBS. And then it tells us we also need it to, to give it a scene name. So we're gonna go scene name here. And that's the only thing that we need to give it. So we can delete this there. So we have to put in a scene name, which in my case, I'm just gonna say, uh, we're gonna switch to my just chatting scene. So I'm gonna put S, just chatting, cause that's the name. That's the name of my scene in OBS here. S, just chatting. So we're gonna just put that in that there. So I can like actually just test this right now. If I click test, it should change to my just chatting scene. So we know that it worked. Um, so that's, that's how you do it through OBS raw. So how do we do this like directly from C sharp now? Like we wanted to run the equivalent of this thing through C sharp. Uh, we're gonna go here to, let's disable this command now and enable this one. Edit this one. So we're gonna convert this one to like what we just did. So again, the name of the action that we want to run is set current scene. So we're gonna put that here in our final command. So this is like where we actually send the instructions. So yes, so we put set current scene and then we need to give it inside of our J object, our request. We need to give it like the info that it's expecting, which in this case is the scene name, scene name, and then S just chatting. And then we can get rid of this one here. Um, and this should work. You can just compile it. This code here should change scene to my just chatting scene. Like, that's like how you do that through C sharp. Save, save and compile. And now I think I can run my test command by typing test in chat. So if I go test, if I press enter, it should change to my just chatting scene. Please work. There we go. Yeah, change the just set chatting scene. Um, I if And in my code here, I can change this just chatting to like any other scene too. So I got one for my split screen. So I can just type split screen here, compile, save. And then if I type it in chat, test, switches to my split screen. Cool. Um, that's it. That's how you do that. Uh, you know what? That was such a good take. I think I will put that on YouTube. So yeah, if you got this far in the video, uh, sick. Thanks for the ad revenue. Oh wait, I, can't, I don't get ads in this channel. Yeah, I'm uploading this to the VODs channel and I don't qualify for monetization yet. So like, I think you deserve, I think I've earned a sub right now, right? Cool, thanks. Thanks for watching. Uh, go sub to the Patreon as well so you can get some like sick money from you guys. And then you guys can get like sick overlays and stuff. You guys can get like sick widgets. Like, uh, what's a sick widget people can get? But yeah, let's shout out Floofies. Yeah, yeah, this one just released on Patreon. Yeah, this thing here. Ooh, I released that on Patreon. So like, yeah, go sub there and then you can get that kind of stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching, bye.